Good morning, everyone. Yep, this is day two at Corpus Christi, Texas. And my hair looks really clean today. I just got out of the shower, guys. So let's go find some breakfast, guys. So I'll, I'll see. You, I'll meet you there, guys. Good view of this area. I have been here. This is the tallest building that I've seen before. Oh! I, I heard an owl there. Oh, that looks good right here. Oh, what's not? <laughs> Once again, you guys can count down if you like to. The breakfast buffet, and I so let's go eat. Okay, so we're at the breakfast buffet. <laughs> So let's see what they got. So we ate before? Yeah, they're all the same. You get too much. Get one well, more. Good. Just a little bit. One more scoop. And scoop. There it is. Excuse me. Alright, so breakfast time. To milk, my favorite. That's good. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll ask you for some. I hope we don't walk a lot today. What? Huh? Super nervous when I get there. Yeah. Cheese. 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 It looks that good. Large. That is nothing too serious. I wonder what happened with that, those bike people. They should remember. Those bikes that they were doing that marathon before. Oh, yeah. Right? I don't know what happened. Sip got, got kind of hooked up in the uh, Like a group to train with. Really? My bike got. Uh, my pedal fell off. This is good. I know, we were about 10 miles into the, in the, maybe about 8 miles into the ride. And my pedal fell off and I couldn't ride the bike anymore. And uh, the group had already taken off. Yeah, when I was trying to fix it. Uh. So I just grabbed my stuff and started walking back. And they, they passed me up on the way back. 
Finish my breakfast, guys. Let's get back to the hotel room. on so uh, let's see you guys when I get back at the hotel room guys we're going to third out tomorrow I see the imagination movers that was quick okay well it's out here Convention Alright guys, we're in the car, so let's go. Corpus Christi Comic Con. Convention Center that way. Oh, straight in here. Alright. Let's go find a parking spot. Alright guys. We're about to go get our tickets right now, so see you then. Hey guys, I found Lightning McQueen. From cars. There it is guys. So right now we're looking at all the stuff they got for sale. Let's see what they got. Let's see. And there's Bowser. Let's see Peaches.
Hey guys, look, there's the mystery machine. Scooby Doo. But let's get to, let's continue on our our adventure, guys. Well, guys, guess who I met up for free? I met with the voice of Scooby Doo and Shaggy. That's right, guys. And I'll show you a picture. So we'll be right back later, guys. Right now we're in the theater, guys, because we're gonna watch the Scooby Show here. Yeah, the voice actor Scooby Doo is gonna be here. Number two, yeah, that's him. That's Scott. There, yeah, there he is. It's gonna start real soon. See you when the show starts. Scott Innes. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Scooby Doo, where are you? Scooby. Roll boy, Maggie. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Zoinks! Zoinks! Yeah. Maggie, where's he at? How y'all doing? Good! <laughs> so, I'm here to break all the rules. <laughs> you know, the good Lord gave me this job a long time ago, and I think the fans come first before anything. And that's my motto, and I'm sticking to it. Um, my name is Scott Ennis, and I am just happy to be a part of a small friend, uh, well, a huge, a small part of a huge franchise um, uh, called Scooby Doo. Where are you? And uh, this has been in, in Hanna Barbera. I've been doing this for a long time, and I was doing it before I even got That's into right. parts. And uh, there's apparently enough work to go around because I'm not the only one doing it, you know. Uh, Frank Walker, my buddy Frank, is Freddy does Scooby now too, and uh, Matthew Lillard does uh, Shaggy. Oh, yeah, Lillard. Matthew and, Lillard. Uh, you know, I've worked for some of some legendary people, and it's just like yesterday. How many have seen Scooby Doo on Zombie Island? What a, what a great movie. The movie that relaunched yep. the whole franchise. Love that movie, like, guys. Yeah, you guys should check that out. And uh, that were 25 years. Can you believe it? 25 years this September. So that's where you're supposed to clap. <laughs> 25 years. Tommy on it. We did Witch's Ghost. And then uh, Alien Invaders. And then Cyber Chase. And we've been blessed to have voiced thousands of talking toys, video games. Run out of here. What's the big idea? I'm as cute as a Powerpuff girl. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of hit, uh, some uh, hidden tidbits in these movies. Uh, I work at uh, Classic Hits 103.3, so go to my page. It's called the Scott Ennis Radio Show. And make sure you like that, because my show sucks and I need all the help I get. <laughs> Um, 15 oh, listeners. Oh my but, God. Um, oh my God. I'm yeah, sorry, you guys had to hear this. But I can use all the help I can get. So, what's that? They're, they're, I have family in Louisiana. Oh, so. do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. They, they may be some of my listeners. So that's, yeah, my <laughs> few listeners. So, But anyway, so that's kind of that deal. And, uh, you know, um, um, gosh, you know, I've got, I've been, I do movies and other stuff too. So uh, there's a plethora of stuff. And, uh, and I like to paint on the side. So I like to sit there and do Scooby-Doo paintings. And, uh, and I love Comic-Cons. I like to get out and really meet the fans. Because they are, you know, regardless if there's a strike going on or whatever, they are the, the ultimate... Uh, fan that makes everybody click. It makes the movie theaters, the uh, uh, it makes everybody click besides just the actors. So thank you very much for you guys being a, a fan of Scooby Doo and, uh, and, and all the other ones. Yep. <laughs> the so, other one. What you got for me? Man, you got it. <laughs> That's it. Thank you guys. You got the cliff notes, man. <laughs> I, I, I was just excited. I was like, mom. He's in Baton Rouge and New Orleans. He's an on-air personality. And so, but who really want me to be like a fangirl and be like, how many crawfish boils do you have? A you? lot. <laughs> My biggest problem in high school is I just couldn't shut up. We could literally be here all week. <laughs> I wouldn't sell nothing down there. Woo! In the back of the classroom to resolve yeah. that issue. And it Good job, school. Hey guys, over there uh, doing sound. Uh, but look, this is going to be a couple of questions, but look up uh, Handprints on the Wall by Kenny Rogers, karaoke. Handprints on the Wall, karaoke by... Uh, well, I'm going to that up yeah. real quick. Yeah. Uh, since you went over the different voices that I you do. have... Um, God, Elvis! I wrote this song called Handprints on the Wall after he was uh, my ex-wife, you know, we were in the delivery room, and it was such a movie You just mentioned all this, guys. Group. You we missed it. done that before, you know, and given birth. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I had to let her do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's a pretty, pretty scary 
experience too because yeah. I was standing at the end of the bed. Mm -hmm. What's that? Like that's watching. Like we're not going to the Selena Museum. Yeah. Yeah. We were going to go to the Selena yeah. Museum, yeah. but yeah. we just didn't have enough time. So they took me out. Of we have other things to do. So we are we're planning to go to Corpus next weekend. So today we are not going to be there. So my poor wife. Right, you guys saw the statue. But well, let's get back. Anyway, Presley pops into the world. And uh, I was so moved by this whole experience that I wrote this song called Handprints on the Wall. And I called Bob Burwell at Dreamcatcher Records and I said, Kenny Rogers has to do this song. And he said, Scott, look, you sent me this song. It's a great song. He goes, I'm not trying to take anything away from you, but Kenny is. <laughs> oh, you're so emotional. Uh, whoa, well, hello, Mr. Webbett. This is uh, Elma Fudd. Uh, be very, very quiet. Uh, we're, we're, we're on Keith Webbett's. And then, ah, uh, ah, uh, say, ah, uh, say, uh, uh, pay attention, boy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, say, ah, uh, say, do you see that little house over there? It says D O G. Ah, uh, ah, uh, say, that spells chicken. Go get them, boy. This is Fred Flintstone, and this is Barney Rubble. Flintstone. <laughs> Tonight, Barney and I are going to cruise by, pick up Wilma, Pebbles, Bam Bam, and we are going bowling. Oh, right, Fred? <laughs> uh, bowling. <laughs> Shut up, Barney. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's so many, uh, so many others, but uh, anyway. So, uh, and then of course people ask me, how did you ever get the voice? How did you perfect Shaggy? And one thing I take a lot of pride in is I do the original Shaggy sound. So when you hear Casey Kasem Shaggy, I try to food for the rest of your life. What would it be? Captain Freakin' Crunch. <laughs> ah! At first I thought you were going to say Captain oh, Phil Swords. Oh. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Well, I'm at the Corpus Christi. Come down and see me in my booth. Scooby Dooby Doo! Yeah! 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 Great show, guys, of Scooby. So, gonna be heading home soon. I'm very excited, guys. Yep. Goodbye, Lightning McQueen. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Last view of Lightning McQueen, guys. If you guys want to see my car videos, ch check it. Uh, check a look at my channel, guys. Okay. My car videos. All right, guys. We're about to like leave now, but I am gonna have to say goodbye to Corpus Christi, but for but for a while though. But next Saturday, but hopefully next Saturday we'll, we'll, we'll go again because we're gonna go to Selena Museum. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be it. Be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in Kerrville tomorrow for the Imagination Movers tour. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>